have installed the binaries on our system and it just pops up the dialog box and says, welcome to the installation. We can do an advanced mode installation. Advanced mode installation lets me go in and uh, when, you, when you create a domain controller, especially if this is the second domain controller or the fifth domain controller, it has to replicate with the other domain controllers. And across a slow WAN link, that could be a lot, a lot, a lot of data. So with an advanced mode installation, I could do the initial replication off of a backup of another domain controller. But what we're making is a brand new domain and a brand new forest. So we don't have to do any replication. We're just going to go ahead and keep it simple. So I'll say next. And it says, ah, oh, remember your domain controllers. We have a lot of new features. And with NT4, it's not supported. We don't have the right cryptography. So you can't do NT4 as a domain controller, which is fine. So I'll say next. And we are going to create a brand new domain and a brand new forest. Now, if it was in an existing forest, we could say add a domain controller to an existing domain or we're going to create a brand new domain. We could do that. But we're just going to say create a new, new domain and a new forest. And what do you want to call it? We're going to call this one D-U-G-G-I-E-W-B.com. And I don't own that name. I have no idea what it is on the internet. So <laughs> travel at your own risk. So I'll say next. And it goes through and it does a DNS check to see if that forest name is already in use. Now, uh, what it's going to do is, is it's going to go ahead and look at its DNS. It's going to try and go up to the internet and see if something's there. But I don't have DNS services installed on here, so it's not going to be able to resolve that. Now it's going to ask the forest function level. By default, it's going to go 2003. 2003 native mode, which means we have LVR replication. We have a better knowledge consistency checker. We're able to go in and just replicate changes as opposed to everything. I could boost this to 2008 or 2008 R2, or I could say, well, all right, we'll go ahead and do 2000. But we're just going to keep it at this 2003, and then later I'll show you how we can bump up the uh, domain or forest function level. So I'll say next. And it's also asking the domain function level. And again, we have the same options, 2003, 2008, and 2008 R2. Notice that we don't have a domain function level of 2000. We can have a forest function level of 2000, but not the domain. What's the difference? Well, in your forest, you can have a variety of domain function levels. You can have 2000, 2003, 2008, 2008 R2, and it's all fine and dandy. But in order to elevate your forest function level at 2008 R2, all of your domain function levels have to be at 2008 R2. So again, we will go ahead and show you how we can elevate that a little bit later. So we're just going to keep it at 2003. Let me get to the right machine here. I'll say next. And it goes in and looks at DNS. We don't have DNS, so now it gives us the option to install DNS. Now it also says you can make this a global catalog server. And that option is cleared off because it's not optional. <laughs> Why is it not optional? Because you have to have at least one global catalog server in your domain. And since it's the first domain controller and a brand new domain and a brand new forest, I have to have a global catalog server. It's also going to have all the FISMO roles Schema Master, Domain Naming Master, uh, RID Master, PDC Emulator, and Network Infrastructure Master all installed on the same machine. You also notice that we have the option for read-only domain controller, which is also grayed out. In order to install a read-only domain controller, first your domain function level has to be at 2003, but you also have to have a read-writable domain controller. And since it's the first domain and the first uh, the new forest, we don't have any read-writable, so I can't make this a read-only domain controller. So I'll say next. It examines my DNS and it says, a delegation for the DNS server can't be created because we don't have an authoritative parent. If we already have an existing DNS, we need to make sure that we point to it, but we don't have an existing DNS, so we're good. So I'll just say yes. It's going to ask us where we put the database folder, the transaction logs, and the sysfall. By default, it puts it right off your Windows directory. You may want to change this, especially the uh, transaction logs. So I'll say next. Now we have our Active Directory Restore Mode Administrative Password. This is different than the default administrator account. This password is so that we can go in and do an Active Directory Restore. This password is something that I make very long and I write it down and stick it in a safe somewhere. And you don't want to use the same password that you use with your normal user account. So I'll put in my magic password. 
And it does have to meet complexity requirements. So three character sets, alphas, numbers, uh, uppercase, lowercase, alphas, numbers, and symbols. You have to have two, uh, three of the four. So I'll say next. And here is our summary. We can do an export so we can script this for additional domain controllers. I'll say next. And it installs DNS. And then it goes through and installs Active Directory. And we'll go ahead and let that cook.